News 4 continues to work to learn more about the charges filed in the 1993 murder of Angie Hausman. It was just over 24 hours ago that law officers announced they had identified a suspect in the murder of the nine-year-old girl from St. Anne. That suspect, 61-year-old Earl Cox. This is a photo of Cox when he was younger. Police say he is also a suspect in the assault of two young girls in Overland in 1989. News Force Venton Blandin went to that neighborhood today and was the only reporter to question the prosecutor about it. Do I remember? I remember that we had just moved to Overland and this happened. Amy, a mother of two boys and two girls, lives next to Mort Jacobs Park in Overland. She's still processing the announcement from St. Charles County's prosecutor. Earl Webster Cox is linked to the 1993 killing of nine-year-old Angie Hausman. I'm yeah. glad that they were caught because it's worrisome that somebody can be out there, perhaps still doing this. What she did not know until News 4 told her was investigators now linked the 61-year-old to two sexual assault cases reported to have happened at the park next to her in 1989. That's really scary, living next to the park even after it happened. Prosecutors charged Cox back then, but later dropped the charges. I remember about it. I remember how sad it was. I think if, if you lived in this area, you were, you were, you, you, you were aware of it. St. Louis County Prosecutor we Wesley to, Bell was in high um, school when Hausman was killed. Week. Now that the Overland case has come to light, he's taking a closer look. That is something that we're trying to um, get to the bottom of, but because it's so old, I don't even know if any files like that will be around. Bell tells News 4 charges are imminent, but only after investigators talk with the victim. I think it's important to go and talk to um, this victim personally, and so uh, they're going to do that within, um, you know, we hope in, within the next week or so. Vincent Blandon, News 4.